class struggle. Karl Marx's concept of social inequality. In this video, we delve into Karl Marx's contribution to the science of sociology by introducing the concept of class. Social inequality, particularly social stratification, is a central focus in sociology, and Marx's ideas on class have become universally recognized. Join us as we explore the significance of class in sociology, the creation of a social ladder, and Marx's theory of class struggle within capitalist societies. Understanding Social Stratification Social stratification is a key concept in sociology that explores the unequal distribution of resources, opportunities, and power within a society. It involves the creation of a social ladder, where individuals are positioned at various levels based on factors such as wealth, education, and living conditions. People often associate poverty, low education, and poor living conditions with lower positions on the social ladder, while those at higher positions enjoy good education, high-paying jobs, and a comfortable lifestyle. Marx's Concept of Class Karl Marx played a pivotal role in the development of sociology by introducing the term class to the discipline. Although the term had been used by intellectuals in mid-19th century Paris, Marx popularized it and made it almost universal in social sciences. When we read statements in newspapers and magazines about the growth of a new class of impoverished people in contemporary America, we may not realize that the term originated from Marx. While Marx mentioned multiple classes in his journalistic articles, his theoretical work primarily focused on two classes. He believed that as capitalism reached its peak, society would comprise only two classes, the upper class and the lower class. The middle class would disappear, with some individuals ascending to the upper class and others descending to the lower class. However, the majority of the middle class would likely transition downward. The bourgeoisie and the proletariat at the bottom of the social ladder are the individuals who do not own the means of production and are compelled to sell their labor power. They are referred to as the proletariat. At the top of the ladder are the bourgeoisie, who own the means of production and do not need to sell their labor. Instead, they employ the proletariat, extracting surplus value from their labor while providing them with minimal wages. Marx labeled the bourgeoisie as exploiters and the proletariat as the exploited class. The bourgeoisie accumulate wealth and power by extracting surplus value from the labor of the proletariat who receive only a fraction of the value they produce. These dynamic forms the basis of class struggle within capitalist society. Karl Marx's concept of class is a foundational pillar of sociology, shedding light on social inequality and the creation of a social ladder. By examining the division between the bourgeoisie and the proletariat, we gain insights into the exploitative nature of capitalism and the struggles faced by the working class. This video has explored Marx's theory of class struggle and its relevance in understanding the dynamics of power, resources, and social inequality within societies. 